with pleasure. I done my blog for the day and I thought that was it and I'm gonna go off sail off into the sunset and do do my um, my streaming right but no new story comes up Keir Starmer thrown out of a bath pub right in lockdown right basically he's thrown out of a pub in Bath so he's obviously doing his campaigning on the hustings as it were and he's going around talking to people so he's meandered into a pub right and the landlords get out of my pub the landlords done a piggy Mitchell get out of my pub and the funny thing is if you see the security guy. Right, Just obviously, because all potential leaders travel with security, so he's gonna he's gonna have his own like kind of security guy stopping the landlord in his own premises from getting close to Keir Starmer. But it's not just the like it's not just the shame of trying to kind of um, campaign and being thrown out of somewhere. This is what white supremacy. This is white supremacy for white people. What do you mean? Well, okay. Well, white supremacy takes over something that. That you're part of, yeah, your your movement, you, you know, your movement from the heart. Yeah, remember, remember Jeremy Corbyn? Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, remember all that, yeah? Well, white supremacy comes along and it usurps that and it puts their person in and then it makes you, it treats you like an idiot. So this is, oh, this is beautiful. This is white people getting white supremacy, right? Because they've given you a placebo leader now who's now going to come to you and talk shit. Is he going to represent you the way that you want representing? Hell no. You know what the causes are. And in fact, hold on, let me just show you the video. Let me show you. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. Get out of my pub. Get out of Get off out of it. Thank you. Oh, look, the security guy. Look, the security guy. He's the landlord. Woo! Did you see? He picked him up like that. He picked him And Chuck. Assault. I am not bothering and, and it's him. so rude. Not bothering him. It's so rude. The security guy is trying to push the landlord down the stairs of his own premises to keep him away from on his own property. Look how big that guy is, though. That guy is kind of big. You see, he picked him up by both hands and he picked him up like, like a trolley and spun him around. Oh, the disrespect. Right? But clearly, this guy's a Labour voter. I'm looking at the. You can actually tell the kind of architecture of some places that they're Labour, and you can tell the architecture of some places that they're Conservative. You know, you can tell, right? And this one is like very rustic, ye oldy English Labour heartland. Look at the wooden stairs. Look at the, look, those, that, that banister probably hasn't been changed in 200 years. Do you know what I mean? It's like, but he's genuine old Labour, right? And he's disgusted with Keir. Yeah, yeah, get out the pub. With pleasure. Get out of my pub. Keir Starmer, no, sorry, you can't just come along and do the, oh, yeah, I'm a man of the people, watch me drink my pint. You think the, the landlord's going to allow you to get away with that level of deception? You get out! No, right. For the rest of the public. This is white supremacy for white people. That's what this, that's what Keir Starmer is. He is white supremacy on white people, right? And white people don't like it. White people are going, you're not representing me. Something smells wrong about Keir Starmer. Yeah, because he's not there to represent you. He's Sir Keir Starmer, leader of the Labour Party. I think I found the first thing wrong. Um, isn't a sir? If you're a sir, you're a knight of the realm, aren't you? You're, uh, you're knighted, aren't you? So what are you doing leading a movement of common men? I don't know. Former DPP, former director of public prosecutions, Keir Starmer. Yeah? Ah, uh, all right. Hold on. Let's carry on. That man is not allowed in my pub. Right. Get out of my pub. Woo! Go on. Get out of my pub. Get out of my pub. Sorry, can you keep out of the way? Thank you. Listen to the cheek. Sorry, could you keep out of the way, please? I don't, I'm not even going to call any names. But there is a tendency for people who are being represented in Parliament to now come back into the manner that they once lived in with all of their entourage and it's quite funny because you'll see them and you'll know them from a child and you're like ah it's blah blah but um their their entourage <laughs> oh no you can't get close to mr blah blah mr mr mp blah blah, blah, blah. as they walk in again yeah 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 shut up you're in the manor now you could get slapped back in the head if we want to do you not know, do you not know where you are you're back in the manor see the thing is he tried to do that he tried to like, I'm back in the manor and I'm just going to the pub and the landlord's like, get out of my pub. Love it. Hold on, let's listen. 
No, I came here to speak to this man, not your security. Uh, uh, you have failed me. Thank you. Okay. We, I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. You have failed to ask where the no, lockdown sorry, was there's functioning. A car just behind. Can we just Do you understand? Oh, right, you know that. Sorry, sorry, there's a car just behind. Can we, can we move? Yeah, that's the person trying to disrupt the shame. Yeah, because obviously now, after, get out of my pub, which is very famous, isn't it? get out of my pub, right? So he's got out of the pub, and now he's come to address him. Lifelong Labour supporter, no doubt. Keir Starmer has failed the country. Hang on a second, Keir Starmer wasn't even in power, but you know, if Jezza was in power, Jezza would have sorted it out. Jezza would have got up in their arse. Jezza would have left no stone unturned, right? But no. Oh, remember, we had to marshal all the forces of media darkness to vilify it and deride Jeremy Corbyn to the point where he's unelectable, right? This is what... Well, oh, sorry, hold on a second. For all of you smart people that thought Jeremy Corbyn was unelectable and like an idiot, you've got what you deserve. You've got what you deserve. You've got everything you deserve under Boris Johnson. Everything you deserve. Mwah, every bit of it, right? Every single horrible thing that you expressed, you deserved it. Because one, you didn't vote Jeremy Corbyn, and two, you probably went, Boris, yeah? Boris, Boris is all right, you know? Boris is all right, yeah, we love a bit of Boris. Love a bit of Boris. Do you remember that in the early days? We love a bit of Boris. I remember when I went skiing like 10 years ago, and the, the young conservatives that were on the ski trip had Boris Johnson t-shirts. Oh, it's 10 years ago now, isn't it? Where was I going skiing last time? I mean, been skiing in a decade. And the last time I was out on the slopes, being the only black man on the slopes, the young conservatives around me had Boris Johnson. I was like, Bo I, I, know, I know Boris Johnson. Way before he was even thought about being... So he's been in, the, he's been in their hearts for a long time. Boris Johnson was, uh, was uh, acknowledged as the future leader when he was still in uni. Obviously, it was David Cameron. David Cameron was the one that was predicted on the... But Boris Johnson was the, the darling of the right, okay? So the point of all of this, why am I talking about Boris Johnson? Because really and truly, Jeremy Corbyn should have beaten his ass. And if Jeremy Corbyn didn't beat his ass, then Keir Starmer has made no inroads, none, into this terrible, disastrous Tory leadership. He's terrible. He's an empty suit. But Keir Starmer is white supremacy for white people. Keir Starmer is the white supremacist takeover, right? and usurping it's remember what was it what did they were talking about um in the last bilderberg several years ago how to counter the rise of populism in fact what they did is they got their own popularist candidate instead that's how they counted the rise when really we were talking about jeremy corbyn and the swelling of the left wing this is what you've got here right are you happy oh, if the guy goes on to call him a failure Hold on a second. He hasn't even been in power, but my God, he's a failure. He's, a, he's failed to galvanise the left. He's failed to be any credible opposition to Boris Johnson. So we go on in. Thousands of people have died because what? you have failed to do your job and ask the real questions. Well, I am telling you now, and I hope this goes out, you... Do you? Well, I disagree. Well, I disagree. That's the, um, that's the weight, that's the weighty response, yeah? Well, I disagree. That's your intellectual powerhouse of rebuttal. I disagree. <sighs> All right. Let me finish you this. now, and I hope this goes out. It will go out. You have failed this country. Well, somebody came up to me, and from what I could understand, um, he profoundly didn't believe... The How condescending! How condescending! From what I can understand, what couldn't you understand? The guy was speaking in English. That's so white supremacist, so condescendingly white supremacist. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, a man speaking, um, from what I can understand, uh, because, uh, yeah, you know, because um, he was uh, uh, ranting and raving. From what I can understand, you piece of shit. Oh, boy. Hey, man. You get a, but remember, this is the darling of all of the anti trot people in Labour. Yeah, all right. All your, your Emily Old knows and all of those names. Remember that from the Jacobite report into uh, anti Semitism. That hardcore group of Labour who hated Jeremy Corbyn, right? The civil servants, all the, all the you know, they, they hated Jeremy Corbyn, right? This was their guy. 
All those people that hated Jeremy Corbyn, all those people that scuppered the Corbyn election, all those people that were trying to run their own little leadership campaign when Jeremy Corbyn was trying to was trying to get elected to run the country. This is their guy. You lot of failures. Here's your guy and he's rubbish. All of you, big up Stevie P. All of you, lame, all you, your, your guy's rubbish. Keir Starmer's a failure. But this is what happens when white supremacy takes over the left. They give you their white supremacy guy. And even white people are not smet. Even white people smell the, the funk. They're like, nah, get out of my pub. Now get out. Let's finish this. He that we should have had a lockdown. He didn't believe there should be... Whoa. And from what I could like, understand... From what I could understand, he profoundly didn't believe that we should have had a lockdown. He didn't say that. You, he didn't say that. We, I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. Yeah. You have failed to ask whether the lockdown was functioning. You failed to ask whether the lockdown was functioning. It's all you are functioning. Okay. Because, uh, you know, some of us work on a higher intellectual level, but then what... What you do when you're white supremacy is you take that higher intellectual functioning level and you debase it and you bring it down like you go, oh, 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 as though you have like oog concerns. Do you understand? Shall we go on in? Thousands of people have died because you have failed to do your job and ask the real questions. Well, I am telling you now, and I hope this goes out, yeah. you have failed this country. Yep. Well done, that man. Well done, that publican. He's saying what millions of other people have been feeling. And if you are one of those fair weather people that believed all the Jeremy Corbyn stuff, go and jump off a bridge. You're an idiot. No wonder the country, you helped put the country this way under Boris. You did that. You did that. All of you, like, middle of the road, like, you did that. Now, come the idiot. Well, somebody came up to me and... For one Somebody came up to me. You mean the landlord of the pub that you were in? Somebody came up to me. I could understand. And from what I could understand, what well, you heard it, I just played it back to you. I heard it. I comprehended everything very easily. But from what I can understand, what a piss taker. Listen. Um, he profoundly didn't believe that we should have had a lockdown. He never said that. He never said that. And I just played you what he said. Listen. He didn't believe there should be restrictions. He never said that. He just wanted to know whether... He just wanted you to be a little bit more on the ball to see whether or not the lockdown was working and then make modifications and tweaks. Hello? But when you're, white, when you're team white supremacy, you take the higher intellect, higher functioning brain, right? And then you debase it really low and all the intricacies you make black white. Uh, 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 like a folding page. Uh, uh. That's what you do when you're team white supremacy. 100% what he's just done. He queried to some extent, I think, whether there's a pandemic at all. He never did that! He didn't do that. This guy is a real piece of work, man. And the funny thing is, this is white supremacy at its finest, and it works for some people. It's going to work with a lot of people. A lot of people that don't think, a lot of people that don't engage your brain will just be hearing what he's saying and think, oh, the guy's an idiot. Oh, the guy's an idiot. I just played you what the guy said. He never said anything like that. This guy is a piece of shit. Now, obviously, he's entitled to that view. What view? The view that you ascribe to him. Because he never said that. Queried to some extent, I think, whether there's a pandemic at all. Now, obviously, he's entitled to that view. I'm afraid I profoundly disagree. I think most people across the... You, you disagree with the straw man argument that you put up there of things that he didn't say. And then you're disagreeing with the things that he didn't say. He's a barrister. You can profoundly disagree. Who does this work on? Do you know what? You know what? You know this doesn't work on left-wing white people. Do you know this course of conversational kind of this stance, this combative stance, doesn't work with left-wing white people? Right now, there's a load of left-wing white people that agree with me on this, on, on the Keir Starmer thing. Because this doesn't work for them. Okay? Okay, yeah, I, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not caping for you. You know, I still got a problem with a lot of you left-wing white people when stuff's happening to us uh, stuff, black stuff's happening to us where's this guy and in his uh, investigation into racism in the Labour Party kicked down the road indefinitely right so that's where I could use you guys standing up no kick down the road indefinitely oh well that's just indefinitely 
Okay. All right. So, uh, so you can't kind of um, get with me on that, but I got to get with you on this, right? I'm, I'm not even getting with you. I'm just showing you how bad it is because it's bad. He's rubbish. The country would profoundly disagree. Look, look, the country would profoundly disagree with everything negative that you said if that was the case, but that wasn't the case. Yeah. I mean, to finish, right? There's going to be a lot of left-wing people who are pissed off. I, I, I 100%, I totally empathise with you. I empathise. Yeah, this guy's a sham. He's not a real left-wing leader. He's not a Labour leader. And this is what white supremacy does. This is how white supremacy usurps movements. Yeah, they put their guy in charge, right? And then he goes on as though his moral stance about things is reflected by the rest of the voting base. It's not. Right now, there's a whole load of left-wing Labour supporters who are looking at Keir Starmer thinking, you're a disgrace. Because he is. I am the king and will not be. I am the king and will not be.